That's on a hardware. Okay. It's Blinka time. We have like a chunk. We are having chunky newsletters because there's so much stuff happening with yeah. Python, with libraries, and with the RP2040. Right. Number one big thing. 300, 300. libraries. is community bundle plus um, release libraries uh, from Adafruit that we support. Uh, we reached, it's actually 302, but like, you know, got a couple yeah. extra in. Um, 300, what's rocking? I mean, one of the things that I've seen people say about CircuitPython that they really like is that they don't have to worry about finding a driver um, for sensors, displays, e-inks, chips, Whatever, we have the driver ready for you to go. It's tested, it even comes with example code. So yeah. uh, relish in that wonder. It's All right, Python. I think there's a theme. Python turns 30. Yeah, three threes and zeros. Um, yeah, 30 yeah. years ago was the first release. Guido tweeted about it. And then uh, they, have a, they have a long release cycle, and now we're on Python 3. So 10 years yeah. per for a major release. All right, we have the CircuitPython 2020 Roundup. You can read the roundup of all the CircuitPython responses received from the community. That's on our blog. Um, if you want to see some of the PyCascades uh, coverage, the talks Videos will be, are live. Um, yes. going up and will continue this week. You can check that on YouTube. Um, you can look at a review of uh, the overview of Scott's deep dive. Um, Jeff Lurch stopped by and talked about the RP2040 PIO and CircuitPython audio. Um, we have a new email for newsletter submissions because there's a lot of stuff. You can email it to us, cpnews at adafruit.com, and you can also um, do any type of pull request or whatever in the GitHub repo. Here is a cat outside reminder. The cat is outside. <laughs> the cat's inside. The cat is out. The cat is in. The cat is out. The cat is in. So as usual, more electronics for cats. cats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is a USB-C plug tester. This uses um, CircuitPython. People loving uh, keyboard capability of uh, CircuitPython, so making little yeah. pranks with uh, Picos or making a 4x4 four four keypad. This is a little bit like a Neo Trellis keypad thing going on there. Yeah. Um, you know, using CircuitPython to make cool interfaces with um, Play-Doh, capacitive touch, I bet, is, is going on there. And yeah. adding, making to a keyboard. Messages and LED matrix using CircuitPython. More Pico stuff. People digging that. Yeah, what we're seeing Pico, is Pico, Pico, a Pico, lot Pico. of folks who want to, you know, make something quickly, and um, use one of the th three hundred or more libraries. Um, it's a good companion to Pico. Well, one thing that CircuitPython does, which is actually one of the first, you know, when we brought Dan on as part of the the, the engineering team. Um, Dan really was excited about adding HID support because he wanted to do accessibility projects where people create uh, keyboard interfaces for their computer uh, with like big buttons or switches or whatever and uh, for a friend of his. And um, so he came on, did HID, and now, of course, like so many people are using HID with CircuitPython. Yeah. All right. Um, Super stonks. Back in the news, games, GameStop stonk is back in the news today. So this this would have been handy if you built it in the past. I think it went up yeah, to 100 today. Along it's a with matrix like portal. Uh, movie theaters. Um, they're called meme stocks now. Yeah. Um, so watch your meme stocks. Yeah. Okay, here's some more stuff. Crystal Ball predicts the weather using CircuitPython, Adafruit Pi Portal. And if you want to set up MicroPython for the Pi Pico, NeoPixel, Firefly Jars with Raspberry Pi Pico and MicroPython. Here is a Pico alarm clock. Cool graphics, more Pico hacking, and CircuitPython. There is just so Python much news. going on. So check that out. Oh, this um, is cool. Um, the the F uh, sharp. So this is a um, Python um, like open source flight controller that like has support for like software and hardware. It's all open source. It's on GitHub. So I think it's the it's the software that's running the helicopter that's on Mars, the little quadcopter. Yeah, they use a framework, I guess, for all the NASA. Yeah. There's no. Um, more open source computers on two planets. Yeah. So Mars and Earth. I can't wait till we have Circuit Python on Mars. Yeah. Well, we, we, we might. We we still we find mm -hmm. out of these things later too because mm -hmm. our our stuff is in satellites, cubesats. So who knows? You know, you find out later. Um, but you'll be able to tell when that happens because it'll be in the newsletter. Um, check out the latest boards that we have in there. It's an easy way to keep track more, of stuff. Yeah, a lot more boards coming because all the RP2040 chips are arriving. Yeah. So you're going to see a bunch of new boards um, get added, probably like 10 or 12 new boards yeah, coming like next week. Yeah, like 150 or so. There's yeah. a lot. And uh, check this out on Adafruit Daily. This is where you sign up for this newsletter. It's spam-free. It's on a separate website. 
never spam, we don't harvest your emails, we don't have pop-ups or all those things to make it terrible. And that's Python on Harper News this week. Thank you, Blinka.